In this video, we take a first look at browser tab groups in Google Chrome. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. In this tutorial, we take a first look at a feature which has been available for many years in rival browsers and via extensions, but which has only recently graduated from beta to full version, finally allowing us to work with groups of open tabs in Google Chrome. We begin by updating Chrome to the latest version, to ensure that the Group Tabs feature is available. We click the three dots in the upper right of the main window, and from the menu which appears, we drop down to Help, sliding across and clicking on About Google Chrome. This performs an update check, and after a successful completion, we are asked to restart Chrome to allow the update to take effect. Following the restart, we've opened nine sample pages, and we'll be using them to illustrate the new tabbed grouping features. From the BBC, we have tabs for news, sport and weather. We directly parallel this with news, sport and weather from ITV. Finally, we take the equivalent three pages from Sky. To illustrate where we're heading with this, here's how Chrome looked before the update. In particular, pay attention to the two items in the menu which appears when we right click on the tab header. Returning to the updated version of Chrome, now when we right click the tab header, a new menu option appears, namely add to new group. If the option to add to new group isn't available from the menu, a further step will be required in order to enable it, and we head to the Chrome Flags page shown on screen now, and linked in the written description accompanying this video. Using the drop down for the tab groups flag, we change the value to enabled, before relaunching the browser. The option to add to new group will now be available. When we click that option, we see a black silhouette surrounding the tab, with the corresponding black dot appearing immediately to its left. Clicking that dot reveals a further menu, from which we can configure our group, and we begin by adding a name. As this will be our news group, we label it news, although the name could equally be an emoji to reduce space. Within the naming of these groups exists the potential for organising your tabs in any way you see fit, whether by theme, priority, project, or any organisational structure meeting your need. To distinguish the group from others, we can recolour it, and in this instance we choose red. With our group established, we can now add to it, and here we have two further open news pages to add to the group. We therefore select our ITV News tab, and again right click on the tab for the context menu, which now contains two new items. As we've created our group in the previous step, we can now use the option to add to existing group, and we slide our mouse to the right to show any groups we've created. As we've only created one group so far, we click on the red coloured news group to add to it. A red outline appears, indicating that the tab has been added to the news group. We now see that the group has extended to incorporate the two tabs which make up the group. We now select the Sky News tab, and simply repeat the process, adding it to complete our news group. At this stage, we have a unified news group, with the adjacent tabs outlined in red. These tabs can be manipulated as a single unit, and dragged across the toolbar from left to right. Not only can the group be arranged in relation to other tabs, but tabs within the group can also be reordered amongst themselves, and here we swap the positions of the BBC and ITV News tabs. This rearranged order within the group is respected as we again move the group as one, and we can freely reorder within the group, or between the group and other tabs, as we require. Turning to our sport group, let's speed up the process for non-adjacent tabs. With our first tab selected, we hold control, whilst clicking upon our second tab, and you'll notice that both tabs are coloured white. Keeping control pressed, we now select our third tab, and all three are indicated as being selected with the white coloration. We right click for a menu, noting that our next action will apply to all three selected tabs. Whilst we could add all three to our existing group, we instead select the option to add to new group. We see that all three tabs now constitute a group, currently without a name, and assuming the default colour. Clicking the dot to the left of the group returns us to the familiar menu, from which we can rename and select a colour to distinguish the group. With two groups now created, we can rearrange groups relative to each other, as well as relative to individual tabs. Our final three ungrouped tabs are now adjacent, and to group adjacent tabs we simply select the first tab, and whilst holding shift, select the last tab. Any number of tabs between the first and last will also be selected. Now we simply follow the pattern of the previous groups, by right clicking for a menu, adding tabs to a new group, and using the menu to rename and recolour. Whilst within the menu, our other options include ungroup, which reverts the tabs back to their individual status, and close group, which simultaneously closes all tabs in the group. We can also close a single tab within the group, whilst leaving the remainder untouched. 
Once a group is established, we can further add tabs to the group by dragging them inside, to the point at which they are captured within the colour of the group, thereby removing the requirement to use the menu system. This can be undone in the same way by pulling the tab away from the group. Be sure to check out our back catalogue for more tutorials and subscribe for future projects. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.